Little point and shoots like this cannon power shot are great and cheap, but if you want something a bit more powerful, you don't have to go shell out thousands of dollars for a DSLR. Instead, you can power up your existing camera with the Canon Hacker Development Kit, or CHDK for short. It's a temporary firmware enhancement that brings tons of extra features to your Canon point and shoot camera, from manual adjustments you'd get in a DSLR to HDR photos, time lapse, and a lot more like that. To install it, all you need is a compatible camera and an SD card. Now, I've already confirmed that this camera is compatible via the CHDK wiki, so you'll have to go look up your model and see if it's known to work with CHDK. Then, you'll want to make sure you have the right firmware version. To do so, put your SD card into your computer and create two files on the root directory. Name them ver.rec, that is ver.req, and vers.req making sure to replace the file extension fully as shown here. Then, insert the SD card back into your camera, turn it on by pressing the play button, not the on-off button, and hold function set while pressing display. That'll show you your firmware version. Here it's 1.00C. If your firmware version is compatible, you can move on to installing CHDK. Head over to the CHDK wiki and find the download for your model and firmware. Download the zip file, and unzip its contents to the root of your SD card. Then, eject your SD card and put it back in your camera. Once again, turn the camera on by pressing play. This time, head into your camera's menu and find the firmware update button. Click this, confirm, and it'll load up the CHDK enhancements. Note once again that this isn't actually changing your camera's firmware, it's just a temporary set of enhancements. Now, you can head back into shooting mode by pressing the shutter, and you'll have a load of extra options available to you. You'll see right away that the on-screen display has been beefed up with a battery meter, an icon that shows how much space is left on your SD card, and more. You can even add a color histogram or a grid to perfectly line up all your shots. The print button takes you into alt mode, which lets you access CHDK's menus, chock full of manual settings you can adjust like exposure, shutter speed, and more, so you can get those perfect low light or action shots. CHDK also has a bunch of built-in and downloadable scripts that let you perform more complex functions, from time-lapse photos to HDR photos and even motion-detecting photos. Just select a script from the menu, tweak any settings you want to tweak, and, while still in alt mode, use the shutter to run the script. Then, when you want to stop the script, just press the shutter again. Overall, CHDK is a great, free way to make the most out of your inexpensive camera and really start digging into the more advanced photography. And, when you turn your camera off, it'll go away completely, so you don't need to worry about it messing up your firmware. For more detailed guide to setting up and using CHDK, check out the article on Lifehacker below.